video we're kind of excited we're going on another trip another two week trip and so we have been kind of excited and preparing and everything oh yeah we're normally chasing mountains this time we're chasing mountains and foliage right we go to the you may notice a lot of our videos we go west from our home base in arkansas we're heading east this time so we've been east a few other times to florida and up into the northeast this time though we wanted to try to catch the fall foliage so we're headed up towards west virginia virginia north carolina and traveling along the blue ridge parkway yeah it should be beautiful we're about to head out and we've uh we've packed everything up in the back of the truck we've got Oh, a few things. We got some extra. We, Christy likes her bubbly water, so we have a couple of those. I have a couple of extra def because I don't know how easy it'll be to get. Um, got our generator, some diesel fuel, water jug. We've got a battery, and one of those, and then we got two yellow bins. One of the yellow bins is just hiking, hiking stuff, hiking poles and backpacks and that kind of stuff, so that we have it with us in case we decide to go hike somewhere. And then the yellow bin up front has like road emergency supplies, tools, and that kind of stuff in it. So, And so just in the back, and you may remember, we've taken our back seat out. Um, we did that primarily for so we could put our foldable e-bikes in here. But we're going to be on uh, the Blue Ridge Parkway. And while there are people that bike on that road, there's not a whole lot of bike trails that really we saw that we would be interested in. So we're not taking our bikes. But we didn't put the seat back in, so we got tons of room back here. And we just put our cooler, just some tools, we got coats and that kind of thing. And... Alright, so we got a few drinks here. I've got everything loaded. Got snacks ready. Have the meals planned. And this is loaded. I think we have enough food. This has turned into just the chip drawer. <laughs> Sure we'll find out. It looks like it probably lives up to the name. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the water. It's pretty massive. Nice little rapids coming down.
So we were here back in July and visited the current river and got to see a lot of the springs in this area, except for one that we really wanted to check out. And the name of that one is Big Spring, and that's the one that you probably hear roaring behind us, and it lives up to its name for sure. Yes, except it looks like it just starts from nowhere and then rapids appear bubbling from underneath the surface. Pretty cool. It says that there's boulders down at the bottom, and that's what gives it the kind of boiling look whenever it's coming up through the, through the surface of the water. So it's like 288 million gallons of water a day. Right. And what, the, the fun fact that they had was it could fill up, because we're in Missouri, right? It, they said it could fill up a Bush Stadium in St. Louis in 33 hours. That's a lot of water. That's a lot of water. But it's really beautiful. So come check it out anytime you're in. It's kind of south central Missouri near the town of Van Buren. If he comes at me, or she comes at me, I'm gonna have to run. little predicament. <laughs> I think I'll wait until she moves out of the way. I think she's, she's looking for leftovers, you reckon? <whistles> Maybe. Maybe. Did you, how long did it take before you saw her? <laughs> Just a few minutes. Oh, okay. So no but, how long she's been. She's been there the entire time? But you didn't scare her off. You were getting things out. Well, that's true. I didn't scare her off whenever we backed up. You're right. That's wild. You're not going to believe this. We have a turkey cleaning the front grill of our truck, getting all the bugs. <sighs> Never have I ever. <laughs> she wants that big butterfly that's up there. Oh, she's pecking at herself. She sees her reflection. left the Big Springs campground area in southern Missouri. Uh, just to let you know, campground was nice. Um, we, had, we had an electric site. Uh, they do have bathrooms. They do have a, a hot, uh, air, uh, a hot uh, shower house with hot showers. Um, they did have a lot of construction going on, so you could still get to the spring, but they have a historic area as well, which looked like they were really redoing a lot of that, and a lot, a lot of the cabins, and so they had a lot of trails closed and that kind of thing. So there wasn't a lot to do there whenever we were there, other than visit the spring. Yeah. Um, it's very near the little town of Van Buren, which has a couple of gas stations, convenience stores, a couple of restaurants, and those kinds of things in that area as well. But now we are, we've left there, we are on our way across southern Kentucky all the way to the Cumberland Gap, which is a National Historic Park. Um, and it is, it's uh, the gap in the Cumberland Mountains. So during the early part of the nation, whenever people were moving west, the Appalachians were the biggest obstacle they had. And the Cumberland Gap was a, was a kind of a funnel and where a lot of people really came through. So we're headed that way. So it's a long drive day for us, but we'll show you what there is to see.